The tens of thousands of people visiting La Crosse combined with the high temperatures today has staff and volunteers at the state track meet working hard to make sure everyone stays safe. News 8's Alec Janikopoulos joins us now live from UWL with a look at how things have been going so far and how they're keeping cool. Alec? Many may not be familiar with the area of La Crosse this weekend, but they certainly know that all Wisconsin weather may be very unpredictable. It's a fact that rings true to event coordinators this weekend who have to prepare for high heat, thunderstorms, heavy rain, or possible dangerous winds. Bring sunscreen, bring lots of water, drink lots of water, take little breaks. Making a four-hour trip from Pestigo for their third year, Dan and Joy Marquardt know the ins and outs of where to take a break from the heat on the UWL campus. This is my third year here, and I found that tree three years ago, and I call it my tree. I sit under it all the time just to... To refresh. While the tree has worked for Joy so far, event planners understand they must provide other ways for people to stay cool. We also have satellite uh, water stations with Gatorade and water up in the main grandstand area as well as all the way around the facility. They also make sure athletes can find a break from the heat. For the athletes, we have the sprinkler system set up on the infield, so if they are, are starting to overheat, and then they also have the option to go into some uh, cold bath water. And while the sprinkler was of use today, they're planning for possible rain and thunderstorms tomorrow. Rain will run in. We'll do everything we can to just keep that track be going um, as long as there's no uh, heavy winds or lightning. Working with trainers and local police, event planners are confident that if severe weather strikes, they'll be able to get everyone to safety. Get them indoors someplace. Mitchell Hall is our primary with the field house and the gymnasiums. We want to get everybody in there as fast as we could if there's potential weather. But as of now, with no major weather threats, fans can focus on what they do best. And go Bulldogs, go. <laughs> the cutoff for temperatures around mid-90s, which luckily we didn't get that hot today. However, the challenge tomorrow looks to be possible rain, which uh, might be a difficulty faced by everyone here. But hopefully day two goes off as well as day one has. All right, thanks a lot, Alec. And we'll have highlights, of course, from the first day of state track from some of our local athletes later on in sports.